Hope you're having a good day. Fluffy Potato Girl, thank you so much for dropping in. Hope you're making something delicious for dinner. Uh, and Itchy's here. Lurk Apex with the boys. Well, have fun in Rainbow Man. How's it going? <gasps> Joar Inferno's here too. Thanks so much for joining me today. So, I don't know how many of you folks were able to see what we got finished with Perseus Lad on Sunday. This is what we have so far. Looking pretty dashing, if I do say so myself. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is go ahead and put together the weapons and put the stickers on there. And then if I have some time, I want to do some panel lining because that'll be fun. So how's everybody's Tuesday going? Hope you're doing well. And let me know if everything sounds okay too. All right, I think I'm finished with that one. Hey, Belle, the sheep is here. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I don't know if you had to work yet or not. Or if you're doing that later. Let's see. Alright, so it looks like we only got one runner officially done. That's alright. Oh, maybe two. Oh no, there's more than I thought. All right, good progress. Slowly but surely, we're getting faster at this. All right. So got this stuff done. Got that done. Lord Enux, my Tuesday started by thinking it felt like Thursday. Oh my gosh, that is the worst feeling. Um, I hope the rest of your week goes by pretty quick. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so that's closer to Thursday for sure. Hey, Forfeits, how are you doing? Haven't seen you for a bit. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, and Val the Sheep doing all right off work today because the family's in town. Nice. How long has it been since you've seen them? Uh, also, guess who just received the biggest model box? You? What'd you get? What'd you order? All right, so we already did that. Put everything together. Weapon time. Hey, <laughs> hey. Is it what I think it is? Nani? What did I miss? Alrighty. So I need F for the most part first. I didn't set up my side table here, so I feel like a fool. <gasps> no way. Is it really? Belle, is it really? Better not be pulling our leg here. Audible gasp. I know. It's very exciting. I can't wait to see it. You have to tell us when you're going to be streaming that. Uh, so folks, if you're not following Bell the Sheep, please go ahead and give him a follow because he is a wonderful supporter of this channel and also just the community in general and does some excellent builds. Hmm. Why is this not working? Hello. There we go. 100%. Nice. Very cool. That's super exciting. Good for you. I can't wait to see it. That'll be awesome. Of course. And anybody else who's new in this channel, also give Joe our Inferno a follow. He is a great kit basher and wonderful person all around. Gonna unbox it next stream. Nice. Also, Rainbow Man is here. Rainbow Man does some wonderful craftsmanship in Minecraft, no pun intended, um, but really, really excellent builds there, and also builds Gunpla. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, can we see everything okay? Do we want to be just a smidge closer, maybe? Okay, so I need F15. And who could forget forfeits? Also give forfeits a follow. No oh, shoot, what did I do? Oh, that should work. Correct? 
maybe, maybe not. Aw, I love that emote. It's so cute. Been about two years. Oh, nice. Very good. Well, I hope it's an awesome time. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, things get better as the vaccine gets spread to more folks. Hey, Angry's here too. How's it going, Angry? Hope you're having a good one. So yeah, Sunday, Perseus Lad and I streamed. He was working on an RG kit, and I worked on this for a bit, but did not get to finish. We also got to do a shout out for Angry. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, thank you all so much for joining me today. Super appreciate it. I know I saw the stickers for this. Where did they go? This may be an issue. Here we are. So what was interesting to me was this is the first kit I've ever had where it gave you a different option for the sticker for the eye. I feel like that was a little hard to choose, but I like the one that I have in there. I also like how you can turn it, but I think you have to take apart the whole head to turn it, or at least take the head off to move it. I'll have to test it. Alright. Oh, really? I could show you the box. Here's the box, if that helps you at all. Hey! How are you doing? Now, I want to make sure I pronounce that correctly. Is it Smith Stick TV? I want to make sure. Uh, if you want some nice art streams and also sometimes horror game streams, go ahead and give Smith Sticks a follow. Some wonderful art on that channel. It is the origin. Oh yeah, sorry, origin. I mis I misread that as original when I was like, sure. Yes, this is the origin version. Um, I've seen some different Zaku's online and I liked how this one is coming out. It's got some nice details on there and I like the different shades of red in the plastic. I thought that was a really nice touch. And originally I was thinking of doing the panel lining as black, but I almost am tempted to make it white instead because a lot of the stickers are white and I thought that might make it pop more. I don't know. What do you folks think? What's your opinion on that? Smith is tick. Okay, thank you. Second best Zaku to HG. So what's the first best? You're doing good, just really busy. A bunch of people left my work. Ah, uh, that stinks. Well, I hope it's a uh, Gets a little bit calmer for you. I know these times are a little tough, but I feel like we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully. All right, let me see. White would be cool and different. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. Cause like I said, I feel like it'll really make it pop. Um, and there's so many other kits that we get to do black with, and I just, I don't know, this is such a dark kit that I feel like it would work out really well. So we'll see if I get to that tonight. I feel like I have to go a little faster here. <laughs> I am the slowest Gunpla Builder ever in the history of Gunpla Builders. At least I can have the title for something. The idea of white. Nice. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll try it. And like uh, Bell the Sheep said, if we don't like it, we can just color it black. <laughs> Brigadier Bacon! Streaming really does make building slower. That is true. That is true. How are you doing? By the way, I really appreciated your advice for the um, Leos that we're going to work on. I think that's an excellent idea to try scribing first. And then if we don't like how it turned out, painting that one over as the rusted, beaten up one. It totally makes sense. I appreciate it. Nope, you're still faster than me and faster than Neon. Well, Neon gets very, very chaotic. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad because I missed his stream the other day. He hasn't streamed in a couple weeks and then 
I was sleeping. And when I woke up, I was like, oh, he's on. And I jumped on and I saw like two seconds of his face and that was it, the stream was over. And I was like, well, maybe next time. Joe, I got three Leos. So we're gonna do all three. Yes, just chatting streamer that builds kits to keep his hands busy. Listen, his food though, always looks delicious. I wish I lived where he lived to try some of that stuff. Let me show you uh, for folks who may not know. So my idea is I have three Leo kits to mod. I haven't really modded any kits before, and I have different ideas for them. So let me show you. Hold on one sec. Okay, so they're all going to use different techniques that I haven't tried before. Number one, that's going to be like shiny type. So if you think of like a, I don't know, shiny Pokemon or um, the Gold Knight from Shovel Knight. I want to spray paint it. I haven't spray painted a kit before, so I feel like that one should probably be the easiest. Maybe I'll add some accents here and there. The second one is supposed to be like a guardian from Breath of the Wild, and this is one where I want to scribe. I want to scribe the pink lines onto there. I think that'll be really fun. Uh, and then the last one I think is probably the one that I would have the most previous experience with. It's going to be a Leo that was abandoned, so it's going to be like mossed over and rusty and kind of broken. And I've done some mini painting in the past, so I think a lot of the skill from that can transfer over. But like I said, Brigadier had a really good idea to try the scribing first, and if I don't like how it comes out, transition into this one. So, great idea. Excitement intensifies. Yeah, yeah, I got the three. So I definitely want to do that after our special project for this Saturday. Now you just got to kit bash weapons. Oh yeah, I know. Um, it's. I feel like I haven't done enough kits uh, to fully kit bash. I feel like I don't understand that fully yet, but I want to. I want to try. Maybe some cheap 30 minute mission kits. Leos are really nice because they're so open to do scribing on them. Cool. I did not know, but that's a plus. Alrighty. I don't think we have all our pieces yet. Unless I already cut out 18. Nope. So, did everybody get to see what we're doing this Saturday? <laughs> or not yet? It'll definitely be interesting. I'll have fun. I hope everybody else does too. Okay, so that's number 37. Never a better time to start kit bashing than with the them. Yes, yes, yes. Makes sense, makes sense. It'll go wild if you get 30 minute, 30 minute mission kits and a few option kits. You can make thousands of configurations uh, out of just two kits and two option kits. It's a lot, which is good. You know, the possibilities are endless. Also, um, like I said on Sunday, I've seen pictures I think Brigadier, you and Toxic were showing them to me in the beginning of um, 30 MMs that were used to like not even make Gundam, but just like dinosaurs and stuff like that, which is really cool. Ah, Belle, well, thanks so much for the lurk. Have a nice shower. See you later. The outfit will be fab, and the kit for that stream is also fab. Ah, thank you so much. Yes, so for those who may not know, um, in celebration of 200 follows, we are going to do a mega stream this Saturday. It's going to be 12 hours long-ish, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. EST, with a short break in the middle. Um, I'm going to be dressed up as Elton John, so there's going to be a lot of sequins, and I will be singing for everyone and building the Endless Waltz Heavy Arms MG. So it's our rocket man to work on. <laughs> Which will be fun. I'm super looking forward to it, and I really appreciate all the support from everybody. Everyone on Twitch has been super sweet. Alright, I think we put this on correctly. Alright. Yeah, I didn't even really pay attention to... Uh, all the weapon options that this kit had. So that's kind of a surprise for me also. I 
And Joe, you haven't finished your Tequila Gundam yet, right? I saw that you painted, which looked really cool. almost done. Still have to figure out how <laughs> you're doing the mustache. Um, hmm. I can't remember what it looks like on the original. I'd have to look. I mean, you could try clay or maybe you could try um, I have to cut off some pieces here. I don't know if felt would be strong enough for what you want to do. I don't know. Like, I can't remember how metallic versus how fuzzy it looks. I'd have to look it up. I'm assuming it's more metallic than anything. There we go. That's one big gun. Right. Let's get that finished. You're debating painting it on, but it's so tiny and you have sausage fingers. <laughs> That's understandable, but I believe in you. I think you got this. Also, Angelo, a baby, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, folks, if you're not following Angelo, please do, because he's been doing some really awesome mini painting. Don't forget to lick the brush. <laughs> then it's finding decals and figure out the panel lining. Yeah. So you've been panel lining recently. How do you like that process? Plow putty in a mold for the stash. It's a pretty good idea. I feel like Brigadier always has good ideas. All right, so... Need a couple more parts on this. I lied, we're not done. F11. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Mine was pretty busy, but it went by super quick. Also, the weather here has been, like, amazing. I feel like somebody just turned up the thermostat outside. Like, it's instant summer now, which is nice. It's about time. There's someone I came across that does custom water decals. Ooh, that's really cool. Yeah, thanks, Angelo. I'm doing well. Where am I from? I'm in New York. Not New York City, but further up. I think you're on the East Coast too. Maybe not. I feel like maybe you are. It's getting warmer, which I don't like. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. My favorite season is fall because it's perfect. Like, it's not too hot. It's not too cold. Um, it's not humid. It's nice and crisp outside and the leaves smell good. Um, Summertime, like midsummer, gets very hot and very humid where I live, so it's manageable, but not super duper enjoyable. I forget what everyone has access to. What do you mean? Call it decent because no humidity. Oh, you're from Toronto. That's right. Two seasons, winter and construction. Yeah, I mean, they gotta get out there when they can, right? F6. That's so weird. I have not seen an HG that had... Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought it was just a thumb. Forget what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. In regards to contacts for custom stuff. Aw, thank you so much for hosting, Angelo. Super appreciate that. Alrighty. Get that hand on there. Also, today I got to see someone I used to work with that I have not seen for like a year, uh, which was super exciting. They're doing really well. So that was good to hear. There we go. Hand is done. 
I really like this red. I don't know what it is. I just enjoy it a lot. Because it's more of a, um, like a burgundy than other kits. Kind of matches my keyboard. <laughs> Alright, that's finished. Now it's bazooka time. I feel like we have so many stickers left over. We'll see where they go soon enough. F25. So my builders in chat, what have you been working on? Either on stream or off stream. May start the turn X 144th scale. Hmm. 144th scale. Trying to figure out a kit bash. And Gundam Age Titus. Nice. Working on Larry the Assistant. He's an alien. <laughs> Very cool. And my non builders. What have you been doing in your spare time? Watching any good shows or reading any good books? I've been trying to get outside when I can. I finally uh, salvaged my backyard from all the leaves from fall, so I can sit out there if I want to, do like a barbecue. I have extra on here. Let's see. Let's marathon. Nice. Oh, and Joe, I didn't forget that I have to send you some uh, instructional information in terms of OBS Ninja. And uh, definitely got to talk to you about scheduling some other stuff, because that'll be super fun. All right. There's that. I'm surprised that doesn't have a sticker on it anywhere. Hm. We shall see. We gotta load it up. Something else I want to do this week too that I feel very guilty about is uh, finally putting the rest of the stickers on that first MG kit. That's something that's been uh, gnawing away at me, I feel bad, that I technically did not finish. But I will, before we start our next MG. Alright, there's that. If I did anything, it would be a marathon of the Gundam shows you haven't seen yet. Yeah, that or Samurai Pizza Cats because I love the writing. Yes, we'll talk about that and get that going, absolutely. Uh, I have not watched Samurai Pizza Cats. Do you have stickers like most Gundam builders do? Uh, I believe so. <laughs> it was just tough because the MG kit, I didn't realize in the beginning that um, all the stickers were on a page at the end that kind of looks like, I don't know, the kind of graphic you'd see in like a car manual. <laughs> It was very detailed, and uh, I wish that I did the stickers as I was building it, but I didn't, so... Oh, do I hate them? No, I, I don't hate them. I think a lot of them can come out pretty decently. It's just, um, it is hard for me to figure out where exactly to put them on the MG, because the info is so small. Like, we still had, I don't know if Joe remembers, on the last time we were building the MG, 
we had one dry decal that we just could not find in the booklet. No idea where it is. No idea. So I'm hoping that when I get the stickers done, I can eventually find it. No. <laughs> Joe, I didn't. I need to finish it this week. I know. It's on my list. I definitely want to get that done before we start the uh, heavy arms. I'm excited for the heavy arms. Uh, that was a gift from somebody too, and it was very sweet of them to do. It's their favorite Gundam. And I'll be very happy to build it. Because it looks really cool. Mm, let's see. Oh, shoot. Come on now. Unless I'm putting it on the wrong side. No. There we go. Didn't realize it wasn't a full circle. That's what that's trying to tell me. So have any of you made this kit before? The most similar thing I did was the uh, HG Gof or Guff but I like this one a lot. I feel like it has some more interesting details. Built the gunner Zaku, the go from the Zaku 2 HG. Oh, okay. You like the GOF custom? 8th MS team is great. Yeah, it was a pretty fun kit. I'm not trying to say there was anything wrong with it. I just find this one very um, eye catching, I guess you could say. Built a lot of the Seed Zaku Blaze series. Okay. I'll have to look that up. I've heard people talk about the Seed stuff before. <laughs> and I feel bad because I don't exactly know what that is. There's so much to learn. There goes that. Seed is a bad show. Put some pretty good designs. Wait. I'm trying to remember. There was a kit I saw the other day. Let me see if I can find a link for it and post it in the Discord. It was very interesting. It was like a big samurai looking kit. And he was uh, very purple. Seed is a good show, or Seed Destiny is a bad show. Okay. I don't know. I have so much to watch. Not enough time. Hey, Daniel Gamer, how's it going? Angry. You agree with Angry? Alright, look at that. So the gun was for the right hand. This is supposed to be for the left. Left hand A. Did we make that? Oh no, never mind, never mind. I see what it wants us to do. Hey, Bell the Sheep is back. Welcome back. Sengoku Ashtray is an awesome design. 
A lot went wrong behind the scenes with Destiny, and it clearly shows with the final product. Huh. Ashtray red frame. No, no, not not that angry, not that. I saw that because um, Perseus Lad was making a PG version of that, and the sword was like huge, which was amazing. No, it wasn't that. Let me look it up real quick. Hold on. One moment. Oops, wrong thing. There's another Samurai one, but it's not purple. Hmm. I have it saved. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, it, never mind. It's from um, Gundam Build Divers. It's the Ogre GNX. Ogre GNX. Gundam Build Divers. Very cartoony looking. Very interesting. Uh, let me show you a picture. What? Shin Modvo? I don't know. Yeah, that's the one that I was talking about. Very, very interesting. Very tempting. Maybe I'll make it in the future. Yeah, it's interesting. Definitely interesting. Okay, so we're gonna put that on the shield. Alrighty. I feel like we are supposed to put some stickers on that shield, but we'll see how this goes first. There was a Gunpo Builder who took that kit and modded it to look like Beast Ganon. Oh man, that is awesome. That'd be very, very cool. I like Ganondorf a lot. I always like villains. I don't know what's up with that. I love that we have the Zaku in a very dashing pose at the moment. Ganon Main represent. Yeah, if people play Smash, who do you play as? Smash is something I've only played like once or twice a year, because there's usually uh, tournaments in our area. Like once or twice a year, and that's about the only time I play. I have to get better at it. <laughs> Captain Falcon, thick voice. I usually play heavier characters. You always think the more beastly and animalistic builds are the best, but you're biased. Um, so you saw that I have that MG uh, Barbados, right? Waiting for us? Or Barbados? I don't know. I always say Barbados. There we go. You play as Link. Bleep, you are good. And folks, if you're not giving Bleep a follow, please do. Wonderful variety streamer. Great supporter of this channel. Um, hasn't done any gunplay yet. It's definitely supportive. All right. Let's see. So while we're not using this, we can apparently place it on the back. This way. Aha, I am missing a piece. So F24. Barbados, awesome. Hope you like it. I think I will. Come back for a minute and everybody's talking about Smash Brothers. Yep. That's <laughs> what happens. Yet. I know. Yet. We were trying to come up with ideas because uh, recently... Oh, Banana Kid. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? I think I have seen you in other Gunpla streams like uh, Neons. So welcome, welcome. And if you're building anything, let us know what you're working on. Waka waka. <laughs> 
Fozzy. Um, and you are welcome to join the Discord. It's where a lot of folks share what they're working on. And I also share art, uh, well, quote art, because I do doodles on here as well. Hello, friend. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. There's this banana kit. Really? No way. Ran to chat because you heard Smash Talk. Um, anyway, I was going to say that uh, Bleep's birthday was May 1st, and we had a very fun birthday stream. And we were trying to think of ideas for a birthday stream for me in December, which is a long way from here, but I think it would be fun if he tried a kit for the first time. All right, let me look up this... Uh, banana kit like I don't want to sound silly is it is it like the ramen cup like it's a full banana or is it a Gundam that's themed as a banana I need to know <laughs> let me look it up so I want to do banana kit Ew. let's see looks beastly Lord Astray double rebake no, it's not a banana. How disappointing. Oh, I don't see it. Let me scroll back up to see what it was called. I am a... I am a banana. <laughs> I don't know if people have seen that animation. We would remember what it's called because I can't. Divers party rise. Why is it not showing up for me? If someone could be a deer and link it into the Discord, I would love that because it's not showing up for me. Unless it's uh, this thing here. Kind of looks like it has bananas. <laughs> if you want to consider those big yellow things. Oh, okay. There's the double rebake. I see it. Okay. Interesting. There's also bread. Banana bread. Recommended up there. Love banana bread. That spoon is too big! Finn funnel nanas. <laughs> Look at me move. Yeah, I'm a bacon. Bananas as intense? Really? I'm surprised that they would use that kind of language, but okay. All right, did we cut out our piece yet? It flips backwards. Really? That's really cool. All right, all right. Let's add that to the list, shall we? I have to make a uh, gunpa list. Use bananas as a verb. How? Did we? Oh, yeah, we cut out the piece. All right. You missed a sticker. Ah. MG Spoon. <laughs> so, Banana Kid, if you've been working on anything, what have you been working on? Or what's been your favorite kit? Oh, did I put this on backwards? I think I did. I'm quite the fool. The only thing that's kind of weird about these stickers... I don't know how well you can see it, but I almost feel like they are not um, thick enough. Because it's almost like you could see the plastic through it, so it's making like this wet effect. I've never seen that with a uh, sticker. <laughs> Got some, uh, no doubt. We're saving the singing for Saturday bleep. I've been singing some Elton John all week, practicing. Okay, so we want this to face this way. And then we shall put this... I think I missed something. I did. 
You finished the HD Charizaku 2 40th anniversary yesterday. How is that kit? Because Bell the Sheep was saying that that kit is pretty radical. So let me know if you enjoyed it. I summon the bananas. My job is complete. <laughs> Thanks for summoning the bananas. Now I feel like I should have one. Because I do have some downstairs. Alright. That's face. Forward. Why does it not want to stay? It says it should snap. This is the one thing I like never want to be too forceful with kits because I feel like I'm going to break them. You want the MG spoon? Is that how you say it? I feel like I'm messing it up. All right, we heard a snap that time, so we're good to go. Oh, this just goes around. I see now. Then we can put it right here. Kind of. There. I also really like kits that uh, do a pretty good job of holding everything together, like having a place to store all the weapons on the kit. I can appreciate that. <laughs> oh, angry. All right. So let's see, what do we have left? Machine gun as well. is pretty dated at this point, but it's still really good. I feel like it was one of those things from like the early internet days. Not the super earliest days, but you know what I mean. Kind of like the thing with a uh, Charlie the horse on a bridge. I forget what that was called. Just that classic stuff. Good old days of Flash, yeah. Don't do as I do. This will backfire on me someday. Just trying to get this piece, that's all. Unless I try to cut it a little closer. Don't think that's gonna work very well. Nope. I know. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Maybe I'll file. See if I can get that a little bit. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> so Banana, we were talking about doing panel lines on this kit and we're actually thinking instead of black we might try some white. I don't know how you feel about that, uh, but I think it'll look pretty neat.
I know it's not the standard thing to do. Hmm. I feel like it's so close. Oh my goodness, Vin with the raid. Thank you so much. Welcome raiders. How are you doing? Folks that are watching right now, uh, if you want to give Vin a follow, he is an excellent builder and his stuff always looks amazing. Thanks so much. What were you working on? So yes, my name is Oblique. Uh, we do gunful builds around here. I'm not uh, you know, super duper experienced or skilled, but I like to try different things. So today, hey, uh, Kreshnos, hope I'm saying that right. Um, hey, and Ian's here too. And I saw Neliza also. Hey, how's it going? Um, we're gonna do some uh, weapon building, some stickers, and I wanna do some panel lines for this Zaku 2. And we're going to try white, and if we don't like that, we'll paint it over. But I think the white might look pretty neat. Well, the sheep is here too. White makes sense, especially since it has some white stickers and stuff. That's what I thought, uh, because it is... I don't know, I feel like the black will just make it very, very dark. But I feel like if we have white on there, it'll make some stuff really pop. Uh, I've been liking this kit so far. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, Vin, what were you working on? It is already dark enough, I agree. <laughs> just woke up. Well, thanks for joining us for your, uh, I guess I want to say afternoon routine. I know it's afternoon over there, but I think you work pretty late. Ah, Kreshnos, thank you so much for the follow. Super appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Yeah, so Tuesday evenings after work, I like to stream Gunpla. And then Saturday, it's usually a variety of things. I have a rotation. Right now, we've been doing some uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is a RPG that takes place in medieval Bohemia. Uh, we've been playing some Dark Souls, and we've been doing Gunpla builds. And this Saturday, there we go, finally got it. This Saturday, in celebration of 200 follows, we're going to be doing a mega stream, building the Endless Waltz uh, Heavy Arms MG set. But I'm going to be dressed as Elton John, and I'll be singing for everybody. So that'll be fun. Uh, last I heard from me, you had eaten a rather special cookie. <laughs> special cookie. I saw a rainy days cookie, which is uh, kind of scary. Had a big face. I would like to know about this cookie. All right, so we need H27. Oh, that was that. Whoops. H25 then. And folks that are newer in the chat, let me know, uh, you know, if you build what you've been working on or what kits you want to work on. It's a secret. Why is it a secret? I want to know. No fair. Ah, uh, thanks so much, Bleep, for dropping the Discord. Super appreciate that. Yeah, so lots of folks like to share what they're working on. I also, uh, there's a channel point redemption for me to draw you a doodle if you would like, and I post those doodles in the Discord as well. So feel free to check them out. Oh, I have not done a resin kit. How do you feel about those? I heard they can be a little tricky. You're know, building the Shin Mus Musha MG. Nice. How long does it take you to usually do an MG? Because we've only done one. It took me a very long time. And I still have some stickers to put onto it. Uh, so even though the stream this Saturday is going to be 12 hours, I highly doubt I'm going to finish the kit. in that span of time. You're new here. You've uh, hung out for a bit, and I don't know if you mean like you're new, you're new to streaming, but the hobby, you make it look, I don't know, you look like a pro to me. It's a special cookie, I see, I see. Somehow I think I had fun so bad, I can't remember. <laughs> well, 
Sounds like a good time. Alright. New to the hobby. Listen, it... You look like a pro. Like... You took it like a duck to water. Let's just say that. Two days, eight hours in stream. Still got a few bits to do on it. Okay. That's not bad at all. And I mean, you know, no rush. I just, for whatever reason, I always feel like I'm way too slow. Six, where are you? Gunpla beginner and we'll build up a zero zero or force impulse as the next. Nice. Okay, so I have the hold on one sec. Is technically less kits in than you are? He makes us all look bad. He does. Hold on one sec. So I have, you're on your fourth, wow. Well, like I said, you make you make it look so good. Um, cat needs stroking on start of the stream. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Vin, do you have a cat? What am I missing? Aw, yeah. Uh, Belle is very kind, very, very sweet. Um, so, oh, you have four cats, nice. Oh, I see what you're saying. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, what was I saying? So I have this HG01 kit. This was a 1996 kit. Uh, we did some painting on it. This has been one of my favorite projects. And I mean, look at it compared to a regular Gundam HG. It is huge. And I have the 00 and 02 waiting for me. And I want to do full paints on those. So that's something I'm also looking forward to. Be very exciting. Yeah, this is the HG EVA. Um, so we did some panel lining. I painted like the chest and torso, the face, um, the knee armor or whatever you want to call that. Uh, did some footwork there. Did some terrible water decals. This was our first experience with them and I destroyed like four out of six of them. I was very sad, but hopefully in the future our water decals will be better. Yeah, it was super exciting. I think you might call me the devil incarnate. Why? Can't find the zero one. Ah, sorry to hear that. If I uh, find it, I will link it to you if I can find you on Discord. Or maybe I'll send you a careless whisper through Twitch. There we are. Fell the sheep, I feel like that's what you do. You have persuaded me to buy some premium Bandai in the past, which is good. I'm, you know, happy, but currently waiting on your MG Gin and HG Sky Mobius. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I'll have to look those up too, because like I said, I am pretty new to the hobby myself. So let me show you. Um, there is an HG, or no, sorry, a premium Bandai that I ordered. It is the, oh yeah, it's an HG, Serbine. It's not a Gundam, but it looks super interesting. It's very bug-like, uh, and I can't wait to make this. I think it's supposed to come in October. I haven't had one that's uh, 170 seconds, so we'll see how big that is. I also have the Premium Bandai RG EVA Night Combat coming, which Bell the Sheep helped me to get, prompted me, because I missed it the first time. And there's a different RG that's coming too. I can't remember what it is though. Oops. I'll let you know. 
It does look like an awesome kit. Like there's a uh, like bug like wings on the back that look really cool. Servine is awesome, considered to get it, but it's just regular HG size. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll still be excited to see it. Um, Bleep and I watched the anime opening for that show. Very long, but very interesting. <laughs> All right. What am I missing on here? H23. I didn't realize he came with so many guns. Super excited. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, MGs have been awesome because of how big they are, but I can't imagine at this point doing that kind of meticulous work on an HG sized thing. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like the same amount of detail, but smaller. And that's what makes me a little bit nervous, but hopefully it'll be okay. How many kits have you made, Banana? Roughly. Because I think I've made maybe like six HGs and the one MG so far. Something like that. And two SDs, which are fun. And there is another surprise coming eventually. So when that comes, I'll let you all know. Don't be scared. If you can handle an MG, you can handle an HG. Or I think you mean an RG. That was our great build, and I've built many. Yes, that's true. I saw... That was one of your first streams. You made that... Uh, which one? What number was it? The one with all the eyes. The pink one. Yeah, I gotcha. Was that... Uh, the EVA 8? I can't remember. Hmm. Okay, so we can put this on the top here. This. Or it looks like the booklet is telling us that we can also... Just put that piece on the back, which I find interesting. Yeah, the 08. Okay. Okay. All right, let's move on to the belt-fed machine gun. So if folks in chat also like playing games, because, you know, I do, uh, what games have you been playing? Or what releases are you looking forward to? In my free time, I've been playing some Tetris 99, which is always a classic for me. Um, I've also been playing a little bit of Monster Hunter Rise, which is really fun, and a little bit of Pokemon Snap, which is also really fun. Okay, so we can go ahead and put these together. Need to get back to games. Monster Hunter Rise on PC. Yeah. That would be cool. I feel like Monster Hunter Rise did a lot of good stuff in terms of like mobility, like having uh, the Palamute that you can ride and the bugs that you can use to grapple. Grappling in any new games is fantastic. Yes, <laughs> your soul's born Ekero run sometime. The only Master Grade that matters is the Master Gundam. <laughs> true, true. Hey, Beefcake, thinking of getting the new Mass Effect. When is that coming out? Also, folks, if you don't follow my good friend Beefcake, please do. He is a wonderful streamer. 
Uh, he, I usually catch him doing some uh, Trials of Cold Steel and Rocket League. He's been doing a village run also. This Pathfinder main and Apex I find grappling very fun. Yes, um, I think Sekiro did it super well. I'm trying to think if uh, what kind of grappling there was in previous games I played. Like Tomb Raider usually has some kind of grappling, but it's not very like fast paced like that. And of course, like Spider-Man with his, you know, web can count, in my opinion. Been playing Monster Hunter Rise, Hollow Knight, Gets a Fumadun. Gets a Fumadun looked really good, that remake, and random things on Apple Arcade. Yeah, we played a uh, music trivia game together. Bleep kicked my butt. Hey, Yow's is here too. Mass Effect is already out. I did not realize. I'm behind. Playing WoW, but uh, try to play less. <laughs> I was gonna say that WoW can get costly, but so can this. So let's see how that goes for you. But welcome to the hobby. Uh, the more the merrier. And yes, thank you for the shout out for Yowza Bleep. Yowza, I hope you're doing well. What's been going on? What have you been up to? Happy Tuesday. Dota 2. Do you want to be part of our... Okay, wait, wait. So this is a public service announcement. Uh, we have a guild. It is the Gunpla team. You don't have to be a Gunpla builder to be on it, uh, but we want to try to play Dota on the regular. Um, so folks, if you want to play Dota, <laughs> jump into the Discord. We have a Let's Play Together channel and let me know like what generally works for you so that we can... Uh, you know, get together and do it. I'm not a pro, but I love it. It's super fun. It's probably the game that I've spent the most time on on PC, like over 200 hours, which is a lot for me. <laughs> Vin, do you want to play? <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, Yowza yeah, says, it's been groovy. Just messed around in Resident Evil Village. Village looks really cool. I was telling somebody the other day, I don't typically do too well with horror games. Uh, I get really scared. Like if I try to play Silent Hill by myself, I'm just cursing at all the enemies as I'm running away from them. Um, I want to play Prey, but that's gonna be so scary. And Resident uh, Evil has always tempted me, but I feel like the resource management is what makes it the most scary. Cause I'd be like, I only have three bullets. I don't want to shoot anything. Um, so yeah, I can try. <laughs> uh oh, sorry, Belle. You don't have to. I want. You're not good at it. You don't have to be good at it. I don't think any of us are. Edric and I played a couple weeks ago. We were doing some uh, bot matches to dust off the cobwebs. Oh yeah, Bleep also played. Bleep did it in one stream. One sitting. Bleep, what did you think of the game without uh, spoilers? My friends rated my plays as more action-adventure than horror survival. I just have a habit have a habit to fight everyone. Understandable. I don't know if that game gives you too much choice, honestly. But yeah, it looks pretty cool because uh, the monster designs remind me a lot of like Dark Souls or any From Software stuff. So that really appeals to me. I know I don't have to, but the want is real, especially since I get to play games with some of the best folks. Aw, nice. Yeah, I mean, no pressure. Uh, but let me know generally when you're available. I almost feel like making like a survey monkey thing to like try to get a schedule together. Get some charts going on. Really, really liked Village. Enjoyed seven more, but it was still a great game. Yeah, I feel like they both hit a different aesthetic and tone gives you choices but when you get a gun you have the mentality of I'm the boss now understandable completely understandable all right so there's that we're gonna do nope. here we go b216 I feel like sometimes the directions trip me out because it's like, oh, don't cut this, but it's not anywhere I would cut anyways. And you watch, I'm going to say that and then I'm going to cut a part of the piece. 
usually available whenever and can adjust accordingly, except for stream times. Okay. I understand, but, you know, we don't want to make you miss anything important, you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna flip it, like so, I believe. Draw Bell the sheep. Okay, do you mean like a a portrait of Bell, or do you mean like a cartoony sheep? I'd much prefer a cartoony sheep because I don't want to insult anybody with a my lack of ability to draw people. Let me just put this together and we'll do the drawing. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Thank you. This is a really soft runner. It's like the polycaps. Hmm. I'm assuming it's so we can bend it. Like Beckham. No, Belle. Some of my drawings are really, really bad. But they've been getting better, I think. I could show you some of my first drawings versus uh, the newer ones. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Do I want to get rid of that? Yes, we're good. You can draw Belle the sheep in chat. Forgot to submit the doodle. Uh-oh. You'll get another chance. <laughs> ben. Okay. One moment. Let's just put this in here. Uh, okay, this way. Did I leave too much extra? I believe so. How do we want to draw Vin? He already has an awesome drawing of himself for his uh, channel. I love it. Throws crayons in the air. Oh, stop, beat cake. Super appreciate you. Oh, shoot. I love crayons, they're fun. Even just the word. Stay in there, would you? Ha. Ah. Sorry, I'm just trying to see where we're supposed to go from here. So we have this, like so. It's very long. We're going to put that up in here. What? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Nope. There we go. Like that. Okay, we can cut that piece off. Aw. <laughs> Thanks. The horns aren't curled and sheepy enough but accurate otherwise. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Shoot. I am a demon of getting folks to buy things and giving them bad ideas, never forcing, just whittling away until their gremlins make them buy. Yeah, we, maybe we can give you some uh, demon horns. Alright, we're attaching this. It's the wrong gun. Where? Doesn't want to stay. Alright, I'll fix that in a moment, but we get the 
You get the idea. All right. So let's set him to the side. be a good spot for us. Okay. Oh, so what I wanted to show you was, uh, more ideas. Haha. <laughs> so this was a recent, uh, Pokemon drawing that we did, which I was pretty proud of. Here was the first uh, ever doodle redemption for Joar Inferno. Uh oh, where's it? where are we at? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. So this was what we started with back in February. To the now, to da. So there's progress. Definite progress. One of my happy places is opening up again. What happy place? All right, so when I imagine the bell, the sheep kind of sheep, I think of those ones that are like really, really curly with the um, super dark face. Hmm. So let me look at one for reference. Yeah, the Scottish blackface is what they're called. Like that. That's what I imagine. Northern Renfair. Okay. I think I understand a sheep's face. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how we want to do our drawing. Let me know if I like go off the screen because I feel like I tend to do that. Like Sean the sheep. Do you actually have an official sheep character? Oh, nice. So did you um ever get some emotes done, Belle? Let's see. Oopsie. Because I want to do... Oh yeah, I like it already. They're in progress. Okay, no problem. Hey, Milk is here. How are you doing? Just in time for some drawings. Okay, I think that's good. What? Why? So what I'm thinking... Oh, never mind, you'll see. Forget I said anything. You good? Awesome. Glad to see you again. I am doing really well. Um, I had a pretty busy uh, Tuesday at work, but busy in a good way. Um, went by pretty fast. And we're that much closer to the weekend. He's been subbed in lots of emotes. I see. Happy you made it. Nice. Hmm. 
question is, I think I want to make... Bell super floofy. Soon, TM. Okay. Oops. Funny Gundam meme? Awesome. Share, please. I think I have made the hoof a little too thick. You put a picture of the box and Gunpla, that thing a chonk. Okay. Can't remember if you watched Bee and Puppycat. I have. Uh, I loved it. It was great. Here it is. Uh, let me try to give you a link permit, but I feel like whenever I try to do this, it doesn't work. I'm not sure why. Oops. Um, but if not, put it in the Discord. Let's see. <gasps> oh my god. Look at this box. Look at this big box that awaits Bell the Sheep. That'll be a pretty fun unboxing. Oh, I have Puppycat here somewhere. Hey, Bleep, can you try to give uh, Banana Kid permission to post a link? Because whenever I do it, it doesn't work, but I feel like when you do it, it works. By the way, Bell the Sheep just got a response from the pink guys. Ooh, that's neat. So I often clear my desk for Gunpla, but I have this. I don't know if you can hear that. The bell. Yeah, being pup cat is fun. Here's your sword like a sword. Dang it, I'm so sorry. I don't know why that's not working. But yeah, if you want to post in the Discord, I can take a look at it there. 
Yeah. I don't know why it's not working. Sorry. I gotta figure that out. Sorry, everybody. Wait, what's the news? What did I miss? All right. Hmm. Move those ears a little lower, I think. We'll be good. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I had a timer on these. I'm never gonna get to panel lining now. No, it's fine. Puppycat Gundam, eh? We'll get there. Okay, there's our devil horns. Oh shoot, I didn't realize our uh, bottom of our mouth was on the same layer as the ears. That's odd. Hold on, we're not done. Bleep. But thank you. Because so what I would like to do... Oh, it's okay. Some strong Catherine energy. That's a game that I got pretty good at for a while. And then I got stuck on some puzzles that included some ice and it became super hard. Uh, I want to get back to that too. Too much stuff on my list. see. I just want to make Belle a little bit more floofy. Get rid of that. Yes. It's all coming together. I know. I know. I was thinking uh, I don't know if it's going to be possible. I will let you know. I usually, you know, uh, put my schedule stuff in the Discord, but uh, I have Memorial Day off, so I was thinking about just doing, you know, like a really chill art stream that day. Just, you know, draw whatever people want to do. I think that would be nice. If, you know, folks are up to it. Yeah, I think that would be cool. I just gotta check some schedule stuff. But thanks for the support. I feel like the drawing stuff was kind of on a whim, and I wasn't sure, you know, how well it was going to be received, because I'm not, like, uh, professionally trained or anything by any means. So it's been really nice to have, you know, the positive uh, responses. Hmm, a little too curly. Basically what I wanted to do was kind of give this like a, uh, oh 
shoot, like a Grinch vibe, you know what I mean? Got yourself a graphics tablet. Sweet. That's really cool. You can always add doodle days to the rotation. True. Very true. I don't like uh, how that smile is coming out. Music time. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Uh, I've been thinking about that too. I am definitely not good at music, but I have a melodica and I was like, maybe I could play some stuff on there sometime. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do... Maybe we should just... Let's try that. The wonderful thing doesn't look right. The wonderful thing about a tablet is we have an undo button if we are not happy with how it's coming out. Hmm. I don't know, there's something off about that. figure this out. Well, let's color in the meantime. How about that? Yeah, Belle, your music is great. You have a wonderful singing voice. A lot of Lost Woods requests if you play. Oh yeah. I would try. It's something I'm considering, but I feel like I uh, need to practice more first. Alrighty, there's our base sheep color. Oh yeah, you're welcome, Belle. Of course. So, Belle, you gotta tell me how we're gonna draw... Vin. Because I'm not sure. to sell them and ship it technically or reseller. Lost Woods is all you can play on piano one-handed. Well, that's a skill for sure. Like 
right, and let's go back to the Slayer here real quick. That is really cool, Ben. That's awesome for you. makes me think of uh, that scene from Adventure Time when the deer takes hooves up and has hands. I don't remember that. I remember uh, James Baxter. Because who could forget James Baxter? Oh, nice. I love Adventure Time. It's a great show. James Baxter. Infinity Train the other day. Great, great show. Uh, I don't know if folks have gotten to the last season of that, but I feel like Ryan is like the cartoon version of me. That's what I'd imagine myself looking. You can post the link to the hand deer clip. Oh, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. That'd be nice. It's one of those things where it's like you watch it once and you wish that you could just do that all over again with a fresh pair of eyes. Hopefully that works. Bleep. little curl. You probably can't see it too well on the screen. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I don't know why that's not working. It is incredibly frustrating though. Actually, we don't need these many layers. Oops. 
That's happened. <laughs> Evil bow. Oh, thank you. This is optional. <laughs> I feel like I need a better place to put it. Ah. Oops. You get the idea. How's that? It's our devilish bell convincing people to buy more gun plaquettes. Hee 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 hee. Um. You could whisper. You could. So there's our devilish bell. <laughs> uh, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna work on the kit a little bit more, if you don't mind. Uh, and let me know how you want us to draw a Vin in the meantime. Because I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm not very good at drawing people. Oh, it's on general? Okay. Ah, there it is. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, so, uh... I don't know how well he could see it. Or he takes off. He takes off the, uh, hooves, like, gloves. Love that. It's great. You're okay. I don't know what's wrong with the bot. We gotta fix... Gotta fix it. Alright. So we put this back here. This has to link on here somehow. Yes, how to draw Vin. How shall we draw Vin? Let me know. Okay. So we got our gun like so and then we could put it in the left 
and come in. Honestly, with kits, I don't like to play with the hands too much because I feel like uh, wear and tear starts to happen pretty quick on the joints. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Come on. Oh shoot, yeah. Oh man, I forgot that was uh, next. Alright, let's uh, put together the Heat Hawk, which should be pretty quick. And then we'll do the Puppy Cat. Um, Gundam. Which is a really interesting choice. Yeehaw. <laughs> okay, we got our hand attached. Why? Why would this be... I guess you would tuck it under. Right? Just seems a bit weird. To have this gun, like, hiding like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's falling out anyway. Maybe we could have just slid it in the whole time. Oh, the panel lining's gonna take forever, Milk. <laughs> there we go. It seems weird, doesn't it? To have that on the inside? What do you think? I mean, I guess he's ready to do business, but, uh, I don't know. Just seems kind of odd that you would tuck it under. Hmm. Very tempting. Oh, you're fine. You are fine. This should be pretty easy. I didn't know he had a... I don't even remember seeing him use this. But then again, I only saw him fight um, the main character once. Amuro, right? I don't want to screw that up. Because I know I've mixed it up before. I've only watched like two episodes. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Joe. Um, I like kits that can... Hold the weapons in place. By the way, did you see our drawing? Paint salesman smacks the box of paint. This thing can hold so much paint. That would be pretty neat. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. So we have two. One that he can hold in his hand, and one that's a uh, clippable. You did? Okay, cool. And I haven't forgotten about your drawing. I'm very sorry. I'm on it. I promise. <laughs> Although now I feel like I, uh, keep making too many promises. Let's see. It's getting complicated. So like that. You could have it back there. Oop, and it fell off. Yeah. Cool. No, I do. I want to. It's just I have so much stuff on the docket. I think that's what's going to be helpful if I have a uh, just drawing stream, because then I can work on the stuff that I need to work on. Vin, am I on your Discord? I did not know you had a Discord. <laughs> I will have to check it out. Okie doke. I think we got all the weapons done. Right? Always makes me nervous when um, kits have extra pieces left over, because then I feel like I missed something. But I think we got it. 
unless we want to add that to his uh the back of his skirt we can do that save them for the kit bashes yeah that is something i want to do vin i'm not but i want to send me an invite and i'll jump on i love that girl it's so cute okay so this can go it was supposed to go here somewhere here interesting all right folks it's sticker time so let's get these stickers on here we'll draw We'll do panel lining and then we'll draw again. Sound good? Maybe while it's drying, while we're waiting for it to dry from the panel lining. Magnets of the kit. Oh, that's really smart. That's really, really smart. Oh, interesting. I gotta read these booklets better, or more clearly, because uh, this has some description in terms of how the, um, what the stickers are like. So this says, you know, after the clash of loam, bright white lines indicating that the MS was a commander unit, the unit number A12 and emblems of the Falmer unit were added. So little things like that. I appreciate that, even though I know nothing about the show. Hmm. You're saving up channel points? Nice. Yeah, I feel like I have to do some more uh, redemptions. I'll figure them out. All right, let me see. See, this is what I want for the MG. Very nice, clear, like, colored guide for what we're doing. Because that MG was just way too intense. It's surprising for an HG, this has a lot of small stickers. Let's see. New plan, new plan. These stickers so gosh dang tiny. <laughs> I know. That was something you were like really saving up for before. Okay, these stickers are really tiny. I might just be better off using my hand. Hold on. Let's uh hmm, detach a couple of these things. Oh, it's okay, Belle. Episode six. Which one was that? I think I think I'm caught up. Without spoiling anything, that second story was pretty much concluded.
feel like it may be a mistake to put these stickers on before we pan a line, but we'll see. That's what it looks like if anybody's curious. It's very small. Oh, if it came out today, then no. Uh, maybe I have to look up the synopsis, but like I said, the second storyline was uh, pretty much concluded, I believe. I can't believe this tiny kit has close to like 40 stickers. It's a lot. Well, shucks. like the more I touch it the worse it gets. You know, hold on. Let's see. I feel like I should use another pair of tweezers to help me out here. Sticker nonsense, I swear. Hold on. Got it in a decent spot. Oh, came out yesterday? Shoot. Okay. Oops. Nope, I haven't caught up yet, apparently. Ah, Winter Gunpla, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I'm struggling with stickers at the moment, but welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, since you have Gunpla in the name, I assume that you are either a fan or you make some. So if you're working on a project, let us know what it is. And we have a Discord as well. So, come on in. Yeah, these are the most stickers that I've ever seen in a uh, HD kit. So we're going to get some on. We're going to do another drawing. So we got the two. Okay. Stickers or decals? Oof. That's a good question. You're working on the perfect grade Exia. Nice. I have not done a perfect grade yet. I am still really new to the hobby. Um, Joe, you raise a good point. I feel like stickers are easier with application, but I feel like over time they look worse. Like from my experience, like with the Evangelion. I was really happy to paint these parts because they were stickers and they were peeling off terribly. Um, and decals, I feel like they stick on really well and they stay there. Water decals are still really tough for me. I'm nervous to uh, do some more, but the dry rubs were really good. Hey, David's here. How you doing? No worries. You're never late. Uh, we are just putting some stickers on here, that's all. And then we're going to do some white panel lining. See how that looks. Boo, stickers. Oh, Joe, so what do you think of stickers? Hydrate. Oh, thank you. Hydrate again. I ones agreed. 
I like them because first of all, they're fun. They look like a pair of cool sunglasses that you throw on there. And also I can't paint eyes. That's like way too small. Stickers are sin. That's true, Belle. Maybe that was my problem. They were just too dang old. Could be. Right. So, Joe, I agree. I feel like stickers... Stickers are for... <clears throat> utility, I think. Like, you could put stickers on a kit and be really pleased with it and have it be done. And then if you wanted to spend more time to paint it, you know, it's going to look even better. But that option is always there for you. But yeah, check out these, uh stickers for this HG. I've never seen so many. PG water slides, what are they like? also uh the mg i was working on had these and this hg is the first one i've had that instead of being like a dry rub decal or anything it just has that transparent backing for the sticker and i still find it really noticeable it doesn't blend in very well with the plastic giant sheet oh gosh water decals do look smoother i agree yeah, you see it's still noticeable but not bad Uh, Winter Gunpla, do you follow Joe? Because you definitely should. He's an excellent Gunpla builder and kit basher. Right, and number four is going to go on the opposite. <gasps> Up to Steinos here. Welcome. How you doing? Here's the other thing. I'm trying to kind of make them symmetrical. did I miss? Oh, we know each other? Oh, okay, cool. How go the stickers? Uh, they're pretty good. Check it out. We're gonna do some panel lining and we're thinking of doing white. See how that works out. Uh, obtuse, I'm glad you can make it. I really like this kit. I feel like you get a decent amount of detail. Oops, for an HG. His arm just wants to fly off and that's alright. Thirty-two. Like I said, I'm wondering if I should have uh, done the panel lining first and then the stickers, but we'll live and learn. We'll see. Look at this detail. It's very nice. Oh, Joe, thanks so much for the lurk. Appreciate it. And folks, if you're not following Joe, please give him a follow. D&D session. Yay. Hope you don't die again. Ugh. Well, good luck out there. It was one of my favorite HG kits. It looks really good compared to most others. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, they are very RG-like stickers, from what I've seen. 
because I remember you were talking about the stickers on your Eva kits being kind of similar in terms of having that like transparent backing on it. Is that a skew? Oh, it's a little skew. Hold on, we can fix this. Thanks. Let me look, Winter. And also, again, congrats, Vinny, for the Zerk paints, which is going to be awesome. <gasps> oh, my word. Oh, my. Oh, nope, that's not going to help us. Look at. Those are all your water slides. I would be completely overwhelmed. Like, look how tiny those are. It hurts me just looking at it. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit the mic. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we got 32. Now we need six, which is going to go... Right next to that. So let's see. Let me grab five first because this is being a little stubborn. I'm just gonna go back there. Okay. This is a big box. It's going to be awesome. It is one single kit. Oh shoot, David, I'm not following your uh, posture check very well, am I? Stickers make you die. <laughs> That's how I felt about the uh, water slide decals. I felt like I just completely destroyed so many of them. And I learned my lesson, like I know, at least I think I know what I did wrong. So next time, it hopefully won't be so bad. Hmm. Another stretch, thank you. Give me one second. I'll take his arm off. If he'll allow me. Get off. Shoot. You know what? Okay, one sec. this back on his head and do another stretch. Accidentally. I, I understood what you were saying, Milk. No worries.
Thank you again for the stretch. Ooh, I heard a crack on that one. I don't know if you did. Okay, so we got 20. It's like a whole band around the arm. Hmm. one might be better to just do with my fingers. Let me see. Because then we want... Give me this arm, please. Because we want to wrap it around with number 21. They are so close to touching. Hmm. All right, well, maybe, maybe we could paint that. I don't know. It's very close. Hmm. All right. Let me see if there's anything else on that arm. You have trouble with that sticker? It likes to pop. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, Terabyte Gaming UK, how are you doing? Yeah, we do Gunpla sometimes. Uh, I'm pretty new to the hobby, but I love it. We are working on the Zaku 2. We've been doing some stickers here that are super, super tiny. You can see another there. Um, and as soon as I get all the stickers on, we have some panel lining to do. So we'll see how that goes. We gotta do some drawings in between, too. I haven't forgotten, folks. Hold on. And I hope you're having a great day. Okay, so let's put 30 on the chest. So, Terabyte, have you worked on Gunpla? recognize your name. Really? Let's see. I watch uh, Joe, our Inferno, and Gumpla Neon, and Perseus Lad. Hmm. And a few other folks, too. All your kits get to you today? That's awesome. Ah, uh, yes. Animus and Joe. Yeah, that's right. Well, welcome, welcome. Overlaps a little bit with our other sticker. Hopefully that's okay. Looks okay to me. You built two, just finished the RG Force Impulse. Very nice. Have you worked on a lot of RG kits? 
That is something I have not touched yet. I've done an MG and a bunch of HGs. That's it. Check that out. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, we're going to do 33 right below. Come on now. For MG, yes, MG's nice because they're so big. So even though they're a little bit more uh, complex, you have a lot of space to work with. That's what intimidates me about an RG, is doing all that tiny detail on something that's HG-sized. That's going to be a lot, but manageable. Got the MG Sazabi Verka and MG Barbie. Ooh, nice. Uh, Bell the Sheep got something really big in the mail. And I don't know if you've seen anywhere, but uh, this Saturday we're doing a... Um, in celebration of 200 follows on this channel, we are doing a mega stream of an MG, the Endless Waltz Heavy Arms, which is going to be really fun. And I'm going to be dressed up as Elton John, and I'm going to sing. So feel free to join this Saturday if you're interested. Just stop by, say hello. Yeah, what a kit indeed. So Belle, you want to uh, share what you got? You don't have to like show pictures or anything, but just what you ordered. I know I'm jumping everywhere, but let me get back to the arm, just so I'm done with all the stickers on it. Ah, Terabyte, thank you so much for the follow. Super appreciate that. <laughs> yes, the Neo Zeong. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've seen its name because it's uh, infamous. that. Let's do that for our other arm that also fell off. Which is okay. Makes it easier over time. Trying to source the RG Zeong and HG Penelope in the UK at the moment. Ah. I saw um, an HD Penelope kit at my local game shop, and I was tempted. Did I put this on the right part? Yes. Okay. Just double checking. Love it when my customers freeze the ice packs we recycle for them. <laughs> I use them to cool off. Beef is cooking out here. Beef is sizzling. That's what I say. So for those that may not know, Beefcake is in Arizona and is constantly roasting. There we go. So let's go ahead and throw a one and two on the chest. Uh, another one on the head too. Interesting. It's 101. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how you're alive. It's over 10C. Oh, if it's over 10C, you'll be complaining. How is the weather where you live? We already put one on the head, so I'm very confused. Got the window open and the fan on. Six Celsius, okay. Yeah, so it's warming up. Stick 
characters are confusing me. Alright, let's throw that there. Oh, and Terabyte, if you uh, jump onto the Discord, you can see a picture of uh, Bell the Sheep's big box. Viking blood, prefer it cold. Uh, we were just talking about it. I prefer fall or autumn because it's very dry and it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I like winter, but only for a time because here in New York, it lasts way too long. Screwed up these dang stickers. I did two twos somewhere, so we're gonna just take the one, put it over here and not talk about it. No one's gonna notice. Oops. That's what I get for multitasking. This is not paving. Just got one of the best HGs delivered. Nice. By all means, please show us. Oh. Ooh, an LED kit. I have not tried those either, but I'm curious. Alright. So why don't we do the uh, puppy cat drawing? Because I don't want to postpone things too much. Um, so for Terabyte and anybody else who's new for context, there is a channel point redemption where I can draw a doodle uh, via request. So we had Belle the Sheep as a sheep, convincing people to buy kits, very dastardly evil sheep, devilish sheep. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I've done a lot of different things like uh, Pokemon and... I drew this for another streamer, because she's excellent. She's been playing some Kingdom Hearts. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what else. Just all this stuff. It's a lot of fun. Lots of potato stuff. Some Gunpla stuff in there. Uh, yeah, we drew that sheep today. And now we have to do a Puppy Cat Gundam. And Belle, did you think about how you want uh, Vin to look? It's up in the Gumpla chat? Okay. What? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Let's see this HG kit. Ooh, yes, the Tri-Burning Gundam. That is something I've been wanting to try. It looks really good. Sweet. Happy to see that. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, that's right, sorry. I forgot. Got some memory issues, apparently. Alright, so. I've got this bee, er, puppy cat, here for reference. I'm not the greatest at drawing mechs, but I'll try. You think I'd build enough of them that uh, I would remember? Let me see. Let me look up the RX-78 real quick. Milk, you made a really good uh, Bebop Gundam. That was funny. I still think about that from time to time. All right, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, 
Yeah, Bebop Gundam. That was really good. So we'll draw this uh, puppy cat. We'll finish our stickers. We'll work on some panel lining, and while we're waiting for the paint to dry, we will make a bin as a paint salesman. Hey, Shigs. Oh, no, that's a bot. How dare I address a bot? Let me see. Why are they coming lately? It's weird, because for a while we had, like, none, and now they keep coming. Yeah, robots are hard. I don't know what it is about them. waiting for a knife. That's uh, pretty exciting. And you know, it's not until you're drawing a Gundam that you really pay attention that it has like this huge crotch part. Not really sure why, but we'll go with it. Looking good. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, not straight, but that's okay. Nothing in my life really is. Haha, <laughs> get it? <sighs> I am and always will be a nerd. Yes, please do. That way we can check it out. Really sure what these parts are for. That's okay. Don't need to know everything. We can just enjoy it for what it is. Okay, so that's our big crotch piece. Um, this will make sense once I start coloring it. I swear, it's the symmetry. <laughs> I know. Uh, let's see. So we have the ventilation stuff here-ish. Here-ish. And I'm waiting for the... Um... I ordered the Nobel Gundam for like, you know, a reasonable price, but it's out of stock. So I'm waiting for it to come back, and I'm hoping it comes in next month. That way I can uh, paint it for pride. That would be nice. Nope, I don't want the eraser. Stop it. Milk, why does that happen to me? Why do I constantly have the eraser coming at me? That's one thing I have not understood about Procreate. This turned out to be a thick uh, puppy cat. He was supposed to be smaller. <laughs> I've made him too big! <sighs> I should make him smaller, shouldn't I? Yeah, this, uh, this whole part bothers me. Let's hide it for now. Uh... Oh, God, no. Cancel. I gotta make him, like, chibi, you know?
You got your shipping notification for your Mercurius and... I don't know, a couple days ago. I'll look it up. You tap the flat side of the pen two times. What? Oh, this side you mean, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we definitely want this uh, to be a more compact thing. We might have a spare Nobel. Really? Yeah, I ordered it from... Uh, I think Hobby Japan, if that sounds familiar. Because otherwise on Amazon it's like way overpriced. Um, and I think that'd be really fun to do. Oh, because did I say it? I want to paint it rainbow. <laughs> Oops. That's what I was getting at. If I uh, didn't mention it. Let's see. Yes, this is what I want to do because... Now I see why we have a crotch piece, because... This part's kind of awkward. But anyways... Hmm. Like that. Nope. Like that. I'm gonna do little Gundam legs. Yeah, I touch it too much, I think. Oh, needed them for your wing shelf. Trying to squeeze the feet in there. Something like that. Let's see. I will check out the Discord momentarily. He be flexing. Not sure why, but he be flexing. Is this how you were imagining it? Was weird because I was like, You're already there. That's confusing. How's this looking, Milk? What do you think? Looks great. Awesome. And we'll make his cute face, don't worry. And we can't forget the V-Fen. Always gotta have the V-Fen. I like this better than uh, the longer body, I think. I do have to kind of close this off, though. Let me see. 
Uh... That. Do like that. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, Cupa angry. Yes, that was uh, what I was aiming for. So the thing is, too, like when you're drawing next, you come to really appreciate like all the little details that are in there. Because I'm not too fantastic at doing it. Okay, there's that. Always angry, yes. And angry, I still really like your octopus. And your clay one too, I think they're both really cool. I forgot to color in the sabers. some shading here real quick. Just wanted to make sure we kind of get our oops, base colors there first. Make sure I don't miss anything. Um, going to get red here for the feet. can't even see that. Let's try it again. If I do shading, you usually sell shading where you just block slightly darker tone to add some depth. Huh. I will have to try that sometime. Because this is all that I know. It's just been kind of a trial and error. It seems to work out okay. what you're doing is probably smart. Okay, let's go back to the red.
There. How are we liking that? Let's see. <laughs> oh, the Elton John stream. Yeah, thanks. That will be uh, something. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous because I don't usually sing in front of people unless I'm just like at home being silly. Um, but it'll be fun. Let's see here. Oh, I wanted to do... There's like a little orange detail here. So I'll just go ahead and do that, I guess. But I'm glad that you're here for it, Milk. So yeah, people who may not know, Saturday we're going to be doing a celebration of uh, 200 follows. So we're going to be streaming. And I'm going to be dressed as Elton John. I'm going to turn off... Oops. Oh, shoot. I'm going to turn off the background for now so I can see. So, Milk, do we want to try to add a helmet onto him or just do like a V-fin on his forehead? Plus for the Pride Gundam, might be cool to just do the panel lines rainbow. Yeah, panel lines rainbow, or like I was just thinking of adding like rainbows onto any spots that might be kind of empty. But you didn't answer my question about our uh, kitty. Oops. Not sure if you want a helmet or if we just want to add a V fin onto the forehead. Let me know. appreciate it, but I was asking a specific question. <laughs> oh, just the V-Fin. Okay. almost kind of looks like an off-brand like the Hello Kitty ones. <laughs> uh, let's see, how do we want to do the mouth? It's got to be open, right? Dark 
color in the mouth. And then... Hey, David. You just got deja vu. Why? Oh, I see what's happening. Gotta put this all the way down there. There we go. <laughs> this is certainly interesting. All the way up there. And I wanted to add some... Uh, there are Hello Kitty Gundam. How's that? No, they're not full size. No, no. There's your uh, puppy cat Gundam. What did you add to the Discord for us? The knife. Nice. Should we zoom out a little again? Okay. Back to our sticker time. So many accessories. <laughs> I could see that, yeah. Okay, so we need... I think we got everything on the top. There's one sticker on the back of this arm. Which is number 12. So teensy. Thank you. <laughs> Could someone help you and teach you how to take Oh, yeah, I saw that and I wasn't really sure what to say because, like, if I take pictures, uh, I think especially for an angled one, I'd want to try to have the perspective, like, landscape, um, and then maybe kind of, like, zoom on the figure, if that makes sense. That's, like, the only recommendation I have. I'm not really a good uh, photographer. So, yeah, if people in the chat can uh, make some recommendations, that would be wonderful.
Okay, so it looks like we want that on the other side too. So sorry, David, I wasn't trying to ignore you. It's just uh, my incompetence. I don't know. Sticker just fell. Why you gotta do this to me? Okay. Looks like it should be flipped this way. Oh my lord, I think I lost it. Where'd it go? Gosh, I gotta add the uh, drop command here soon. Steady. Okay. College tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, thanks so much for hanging out, Milk. Super appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Tiny stickers is such a pain. Yeah, do your best not to press them down all the way to. Yeah, it is hard. Thanks so much, Milk. Hope you have a great night. You know this pain. I know, it's horrible. Okay. I don't even know if I have the uh, sticky side on the right side, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's sitting there. We'll keep it there. We're good. Okay. So 11 on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this too. And there's a third 12. I have no idea where that goes. Don't know. Guess we'll find out. You're gonna lurk? Alright. No problem. Okay, at least we only have two 11 stickers. Calling it a go. Not bad, not bad at all. good. And let's do number 10 right in the middle. Nice. Okay. Looks pretty good. 
And again, I don't see an additional number 10, so I have to wonder if this came with extra stickers, which would be super interesting to me. Hmm. Alright. So then we want... 15 on the right-hand side of the skirt. This outer part here. Hmm. All right. And there's a hair on there. Let's not make this more complicated. Shoot. the sticky side on the wrong side. Let's try that again. Nope, I did have it right. that. We want 14 on the opposite side. Hey, Rainbow Man, thanks so much for the stretch. How's it going? Stretching is good. So we're working with tiny, tiny, tiny stickers. They're looking pretty good, though. G-sharp. I'm not sure if we'll get to the panel lining tonight. I was hoping to. Maybe I'll have to do another stream. I don't know. We'll see. and 14 are done. We got the arms done. Hmm. The shield should be pretty easy to do. So maybe that's where we'll move to next. And then we'll do the trim around the skirt, although honestly I feel like we could probably do that with painting, but we'll see. Uh, so let's jump ahead to the shield. It's interesting too that it wants you to put those packs on the top. All right. Come along now. There we go.
Sorry, I got really quiet when I'm putting stickers on. Pretty nice. Really hoping these other stickers are just extra because I'm not really sure where else they're supposed to go. Come on. There we go. That looks straight to me, but we'll see. Darn, just can't get this one to be the same. Let's see. Just need it a little higher. All right. Hopefully, hmm. I was going to say, hopefully that's not too terribly noticeable, but I'm noticing it from here. doing it just a little too low. It's really stuck on there now. Too small. Honestly, I think that's probably the closest I'm gonna get it. Not great. Uh, maybe I can. rotate it just a little bit. Okay, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. And 24, just this nice big one.
There we go. We can put these back on. Which covers up so much of it. Oh well. So going back to the skirt, let's do 34 on here. Seven on the right hand side here, 26 on the left. because it is sharp, but I feel like it uh, could easily peel later on. up just a little bit. trouble now. Let's see. Success? Yeah, that looks better. More lined up. Alright. Twenty-eight goes around this side.
Okay, not bad at all. As long as it doesn't look too askew, I'll be happy. Okay. And 25 is on the other side. Oof. That's tearing up the backing for the sticker too. Hold on. There we go. for the back part. How could I forget? Good, very good. Okay, I think I got all those. And those. So moving on to the legs. I'm, I don't think I'm going to put the stickers on the pack because it looks like they painted it. And maybe that's something we'll do in the future. So I want to put nine on the back part of the legs right at the bottom. Okay, so let's start with that. see more of 15 and 14 here and 13 good okay so 13 we're gonna put kind of on the kneecaps right below that spot
Hopefully that looks pretty even too. Just trying to figure out what it means here. It's saying 15 is on the outside of the right leg, and 14 on the inside, 15 on the inside of the right leg. What? 14 inside of the right leg. Okay, so I, okay. So we have to do them opposite on the other, I think. I think that's what that's uh telling us there. Alrighty. Outside of the right. Right there. And then 14 on the inside. And I think we're going to do the opposite for the other. So 15 inside there, and 14 on the outside. We're getting through the stickers, they're not actually that bad. That was pretty clean. Sorry if you're having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. I was going to say I myself am having a hard time seeing it.
All right, there we go. And 22 on the back. And I think... That'll be it for the majority. Let's see. Yeah, I don't even see, like, 17 on here. Hmm. I have to wonder if that's a spare, maybe. Oh, hey, guy. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I was so focused on my stickers. Did not realize. How's it going for you, hey, guy? Hope you're having a good one. All right, 22. It's gonna go... that away. That was kind of a shot in the dark. See how well it lines up on this side before I really press anything. Okay, not bad. Actually, let's try it one more time. There's that. Hey, Trend Smash, how's it going? Hope you're having a good one. We are putting stickers on this fella. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time tonight to panel lines, so I might have to save that for another stream, but welcome. Did you get to uh, catch Kingdom Come last weekend? I'm having a hard time remembering. Busy. Uh oh. That's all right. All right. Nice. Hey, Aurelia Borealis. How are you doing? Lurking, making some dinner. What are you making? Uh, thanks so much for lurking and stopping by. We are putting stickers on this kit. some pasta. That still sounds really good. Alright, I think... I think we got the majority of them. There were some on here that kind of look like they're spares, which is nice, but it's not too common with the kits that I've done so far. There is one for 13 in here. I guess I'll throw that on there. Looks like it's right around the corner. Go 
right there. Okay. So I'm not sure if uh, Vinny's still here. I know Belle was lurking. But we are supposed to be drawing Vin as a paint salesman. Let me get that going. And we'll see what we can do. Let's see. Obtuse. Better go get ready for bed. Have to be up at 3.30. Aw. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Super appreciate it every time that you do. And yes, I'll be looking forward to Saturday. Thanks so much for all your support. And I hope you have a good night and a good day at work tomorrow. That sounds like way too early to be up. All right. I wanted to look at that picture Vin has for himself. Here we go. Wish I could enhance. I'm really bad at drawing people, so this may not go well. Uh, let's see. So as a, oops, paint salesperson. Maybe taking some creative liberties here. There's his lovely face.
paints. Hey, Big Cass, how's it going? Hope you're having a good one. I am doing pretty well. We've uh, been putting stickers on this, which have been coming out pretty nicely. And I do want to panel line it, but maybe not tonight because I am running out of time. Uh, we did have a drawing redemption, which is supposed to be Vin's hobby spot as a paint salesman. You're back in town for the evenings. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we did a couple drawings so far. We had a Bell the Sheep and Sheep version convincing people to buy Gundam kits. That's probably my favorite of the night. We had um, Puppy Cat as a Gundam, which kind of looks like a off-brand Hello Kitty one. And now we're doing Vin as a paint salesman, and I'm trying to figure out, like, maybe I should just make a box with, like, a bunch of tubed paint? I don't know. It's got me stumped. And like I said, I'm not the best at drawing people, so I don't mean to offend. I hope you're having a great day, Big Cass. I hope uh, things are going well. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're always super supportive, and I appreciate that. Maybe it can just be a big old box. Like some packaging tape on it. Because what was that company? Let me see. Doop doop doop. a quiet day. Oh, well, thanks so much. That's what I... Actually, I don't know if I try. I think it's just the way that I usually am. Zerk. Okay. So Vin just got confirmation from Zerk Paints that they can start buying paints and ship them. So we can either do Zerk or we could just do like paint. I don't know. I'm going to bring the Slayer down. Oops. That way I don't have to draw his hands. Haha, <laughs> you see? Uh, no, but I'm glad that uh, I can help you end the evening pretty well. That's a nice feeling. Hands are the worst. I agree. Do you draw at all? Let me bring that box a little bit more forward. Where's our skin tone here? That. There was a competition for the worst line drawn with the ruler, I would win. Ah. Oh. Listen, straight lines are hard. I think that's a bit too pink. definitely do that nice pink for the mouth. He has darker hair. Let's go for something on like the blackish brown side. We 
you can add some little highlights here and there. There. You do plenty of photography and posing hands is always tough, so you imagine drawing them is the worst. I appreciate that you have uh, some photography skill, because so that is something that I do not have at all. I know, and I try to explain to people, like, if you're drawing or, you know, really closely analyzing something, it makes you realize, like, just how strange that uh, item can be, if that makes sense. Oops. We'll go ahead and do a green shirt, why not? Spent three hours one time in the studio shooting a tennis ball. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. Definitely a lot. That's a perfect blue for those pants. Why don't we make the apron kind of like a goldish? Whoops. That's what I imagine. The whole design now baffles, I know can be uh, pretty intense. It's pretty amazing though, what people are uh, capable of as a whole. There's a tennis ball with a mohawk. Oh, interesting. Huh. If you still have that around and if you can share it, definitely share it. I'd love to see that. Actually, let's go back to the Slayer here real quick. Oh no. Oh, it's B. How's it going? We're doing a really bad drawing. Here, look at our other ones from today. <laughs> so we had Bell the Sheep as an evil sheep convincing people to buy Gunpla. I really, really like this one. I think it uh, has a good amount of mischievousness to it. And then we had uh, Puppy Cat as a Gundam, which was interesting. Now we're trying to do Vin Hobby Spot as a paint salesman, but I'm not very good at drawing people. So this is what we got. The sheep is good, I like it. And thanks so much for joining me. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we kind of tore this apart, but we got some stickers on there today. And I'm hoping to do some panel lining, but maybe not tonight. Do you like Puppy Cat? I don't know how many people saw that. I know. Well, he got a sponsorship, apparently, from Zerk Paints. I don't know if that's in an area where he lives. And we're just going to do... Post in the Discord? Okay, thanks. Oops. We're just going to do a cardboard box, and I'm going to do some paint splatters on it. <laughs> that way we know it's paint. Because I don't really know how this drawing was supposed to go. Let me see. What is Puppy Cat? It is a um, cartoon hangover short series. Uh, it's all on YouTube now, but it was on Cartoon Network for a little bit, I think. It's just kind of like a... It's almost like Adventure Time, but it's very, very silly. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. It's good, though. 
Now, when's your next stream be? Folks, if you don't already follow B, please do. She is wonderful. She has been grinding through some uh, Kingdom Hearts. It's been wonderful. You liked the OVA, but not the series. Just hearing the name Puppy Cat makes me think of an off-brand cat dog. Possibly. And B, of course. like a paint splatter to you? I hope so. You're so ready to be done. I understand that. There's certain games that I'm playing right now where I'm like, okay, how many hours are left on here? Because, like, don't get me wrong, I enjoy them. But at the same time, it's just extremely time-consuming because also I'm not the most skilled at them. So it's like, wow, all right. This is really taking me some time. been a week already. What? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A stressful week, probably. I hope it gets better. I was like, I thought I just saw you yesterday. There's no way it could have been a week. My brain is not uh, functioning. Splatter looks good. Oh, good. I kind of wish I didn't do red, because now it just looks like blood. So how was your time with family? <laughs> Hope it was good. Almost looks like a little spider on the box now. Family time is good. Yeah. Good. It's always good to hear. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. So let's add a fancy Z to this apron, shall we? Actually, I could probably use... Yeah, that's what I want. Ooh, too big. Way too big. Oh yeah, my workday was better than yesterday. It was uh, busy, but not like the bad kind of busy, you know? It, w it uh, made time go by pretty quick. There, how's that for a uh, paint salesman? Something like that. Oh god, we missed some color in his face. It's not the best, but thank you, B. I appreciate it. This was definitely my favorite. I like this one. That was like our most freestyle one, too. All right. So I can at least kind of put this back together since we have. Yeah, this is his left. I had to think for a second. I 
And I think we'll have to panel line him some other time. I was hoping to get it done so that we could get started on the stuff on Saturday and then uh, move forward from there. The sheep is the best. It makes you want to buy Gunpla. I know, it's that buy message. Uh, let's see. So this is actually hiding some stickers. Not really sure why that's an option, but oh well. And that's going to go here. It's a pretty dashing Gundam, if I say so myself. B, have you gotten a kit yet? I know you were talking about it before. And if you ever want to do stuff together, you let me know. I'm not the best guide, but I can definitely help. I don't know why that arm keeps wanting to come off. I'm looking... Oh no, never mind. I got it. Spooky sticker. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. You have not gotten a kit yet? That's alright. No need to rush. Alright. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, shoot. So folks who uh, may not have heard before, this Saturday from 9am to 9pm EST, I'll be streaming. Uh, we'll be making the MG Heavy Arms from the Endless Waltz series, and I'll be dressed up as Elton John, and I'll be singing. Uh, it's in celebration of reaching 200 followers, so I super appreciate it. Oh, no, you're fine. After E-Girl, very attainable. Yes, so Bumblebee is also going to have an E-Girl stream, I think, next weekend, the 29th, if I'm remembering correctly. So that'll be fun. Look forward to that. She already did a makeup test and everything. It looks great. Uh, so let me jump here, see who else is streaming. Hmm. Elton John, hell yeah. 12 hour stream? Yeah, so we will have a break, probably like of uh, 30 to 45 minutes or so for uh, just like a meal and to step away from the setup for a minute. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be good. Uh, but thanks everybody for joining me today. Thank you for the new followers. Welcome, welcome. Oh no, you're okay. I feel bad that you came at the end. Uh, I hope that you could see a little bit of Saturday. Jump in. Um, but I super appreciate you all the time and especially watching your streams too. Like I said, they always make me laugh. All right. So let me see who we can raid. I think we're going to go ahead and raid Fluffy Potato Girl. She is doing some art uh, and she popped by earlier. So I think that's where I will send all of you. But again, thanks so much. Hope you have a great night and I'm sure I'll see you again soon. <laughs> that's the way I am, B. I can't help it. <laughs> thanks, Big Cass. See you later. Have a good one. Thanks, Angry. Take care, everybody.